Israel is at war. We didn't want this war. It was forced upon us in the most brutal and savage way. But though Israel didn't start this war, Israel will finish it. Once the Jewish people were stateless, once the Jewish people were defenseless, no longer. Hamas will understand that by attacking us, they've made a mistake of historic proportions. We will exact a price that will be remembered by them and Israel's other enemies for decades to come. The savage attacks that Hamas perpetrated against innocent Israelis are mind-boggling. Slaughtering families in their homes, massacring hundreds of young people at an outdoor festival, kidnapping scores of women, children, and elderly, even Holocaust survivals. Hamas terrorists bound, burned, and executed children. They are savages. Hamas is ISIS. And just as the forces of civilizations united to defeat ISIS, the forces of civilization must support Israel in defeating Hamas. I want to thank President Biden for his unequivocal support. I want to thank leaders across the world who are standing with Israel today. I want to thank the people and Congress of the United States of America. In fighting Hamas, Israel is not only fighting for its own people, it is fighting for every country that stands against barbarism. Israel will win this war. And when Israel wins, the entire civilized world wins. VK News, Rashtra Kenaam.